Pisces, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the sign of Pisces. It is not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Pisces placement that you may resonate with, some of the messages may also resonate with you. At the end of the reading, I will pull you some oracles, give you a little bit more guidance for the week. I do only take jumper spicy, so I do appreciate your patience. Time is elusive. We are all on different timelines. Some of you, this has already happened. This could be happening now. Could definitely be more future focused. All right, straight to the point here, Pisces. First card out, we have the Queen of Cups. Definitely could be your energy. <clears throat> could also be dealing with another water sign, uh, Cancer or Pisces. I mean, Cancer or Scorpio. The Five of Cups... Queen of Wands, Aries Leo Sag energy, and the Seven of Pentacles so far. All right, so the Queen of Cups here with the Seven of Pentacles. What are we waiting for? There's definitely some sense of reviewing going on for this Queen of Pentacles. I mean, this Queen of Cups, whether this is you or someone else, you know your story. Put yourself where you fit. If it doesn't fit, leave it alone. We also have here the Empress, <clears throat> Libra, and Taurus energy could be important to you. Major Arcana, the Magician, and the Knight of Pentacles. Interesting, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. All right, I do see this as a dynamic between you and someone else. Bottom of the deck is the Nine of Cups. Kind of the vibe I was getting. Star card, Major Arcana for Aquarius energy, healing. You or someone are in a bit of a, 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 big, a pickle. <laughs> Whoever this is, though, they see you as very loving, very caring, um, someone that's got a lot of love and emotion to offer. Being this Queen of Cups coming in on a full, big old cup. You got a lot of love to give. And someone is very aware of it. Looks like they have um, done some things wrong, though, or made some mistakes with the Five of Cups here. The sense of regret. That's my shoulda, woulda, coulda card. Yeah, something, something, something went down here. <clears throat> This Seven of uh, Pentacles tells me whatever has gone down has put you in a position where you are now reviewing as to whether or not you want to continue with this or not. Do you want to keep doing this? Should you keep putting time? Should you keep investing? Time, money, energy, whatever it is. This regret, though, I don't know if this is a regret that hasn't happened yet. Like there's something something, uh, something you want to do. You, you don't want to regret not, regret not doing it. Or I don't know if you regret doing something. You know your story. Or whoever it is you're dealing with. Because I do get this might be someone else. It's like they don't want to regret not saying something. Or they regret doing something. But the perception needs to change for whoever this is. Because the Five of Cups is a sense of not really focusing on the right things. Love still being there. But, you know, someone being so focused on what went wrong. They can't see what can still go right. But it is the energy of change. Um, the Queen of Wands here. Oh, okay, this Five of Cups for some of you, it's it's the fear of missing out. It's, it's the FOMO energy. It's not wanting to have regret. So there is a sort of a sense of um, confidence that someone is is summoning. A confidence that someone is summoning in order to sort of uh, say something here. The Knight of Cups is all about expression. Someone that has some sort of expression, emotional expression. They got to tell you how to feel. They want to sort of say something that's going to make it very clear how they feel. Whatever. There also could be a date. Something that has taken this person a very long time to uh, get it work up the courage to do. Something they've maybe wanted, wanted to have done for a long time. They see you as very loving, very attractive. Yeah, it's all about power. It's all about self. It's all about, um, do I believe I can have this or not? What do I believe about myself? How do I see myself? Do I see myself as someone that can go for the things they want, regardless of the outcome? Or am I too scared of rejection to even bother? The magician is all about self, all about me, I. The things I think I'm capable of doing, because the magician is very aware he can do anything he wants to do. He's got anything. He's got all the elements, all the tools in his toolbox, to achieve uh, and obtain anything that he sets his mind to, male or female, obviously. 
and this is in the future energy so this is what someone needs to sort of align themselves with this type of um self-empowerment knowing that anything you sort of desire you can go after whether you get it or not that has nothing to do with the desire it just might not be that particular address that your desire will be fulfilled at but it has nothing to do with your desire once the desire is there it can be accomplished and that is um i think the lesson here that someone needs to learn this empress is very much um someone that's good at you know well-rounded individual could even be someone with children a parent but the empress is usually uh on the sense of mastery mastering more elements of self like yeah we know you're a loving person but are you a go-getter we know you can love the shit out of something, but are you someone that goes after what they desire, goes after what it is they, you know, are, are drawn to? Because the Queen of Wands is very much creative, you know, very confident, very intuitive. Star card. Aligning yourself with uh, wish fulfillment, destiny. And tower hiding behind that major arcana for Scorpio energy. Scorpio season could be important. So definite, definite change here. Definite change there. So once someone sort of realizes that, um, or sort of just summons the courage to go after something, a lot of change. Do I have this upside down? Yeah, three of swords. I do believe that is past energy. You now have two threes here. Yeah, so it's definitely past hurts and pains that have this, that has warped someone's perception of self and um, is affecting someone's ability to be a go-getter someone's afraid of loss they're afraid to get rejection they're afraid of rejection but nine of cups here and the nine of pentacles these are two very confident people individuals so it's almost like going for this not only creates some sort of confidence for you but it creates some confidence for because i do get a dynamic between you and someone else either you want to go towards them or they want to come towards you if there's a sense of a fear of missing out, like, what if I don't do this? I'll never know. Well, they're going to do it. But not only does it create confidence for whoever's taking action, but it's also creating confidence and um, stability for whoever's receiving the action. All right. Moving forward. Six, seven, eight of swords. What's the eight of swords again? Oh, that trappedness. Yeah. Being blocked, not being open. All right, guidance, please, for Pisces, if this is a romantic situation. One card for Pisces, please. Thank you. Trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. bottom of the deck we have keep an open mind yeah your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations do get a little bit of mirroring going on here too like you guys have uh the similar insecurities guidance please for pisces romance no <laughs> recovery and ask for help from others it's all about getting advice it's funny romance no and recovery so this is saying like the, the there's a, there is definitely a connection but there's a doubt too someone has a lot of doubt someone has a lot of start and stop energy like i'm gonna do it no i'm not but opportunity to recover that to heal that guidance please for pisces It's like romance nah this person doesn't really like me who am i to like that is what needs to be healed that that's what uh, needs to be recovered that that magician energy forgetting who you are definitely forgetting who you are um badger spirit be bold and make the first move number four all about solidness all about protection and this is all about going the go-getter this is the go-getter do it just do it already what do you got to lose? At least if you say no, you at least okay. At least you can you know forget about it. But it's the it's the not knowing and always wondering what if. 
Mercury retrograde, electronic issues, communication issues, review everything. That's definitely what the Seven of Pentacles is about, a sense of review. Am I really giving everything I can give? What would happen if I actually did try? Guidance, please. For Pisces. It's time to take action. I mean, you have three cards here. Very much being specific about getting off your ass and doing something. It's time to take action. Be bold and make the first move. That's that Aries energy too. And what was the other one? This situation is calling for you to have faith, keep an open mind, but two confirmations here of doing it. And emotions are running high. So there's definitely emotions involved, but it's not allowing those emotions to sort of dictate, right? Having the emotions, but also taking practical action. What are we missing? Animal Oracle, one of these. Guidance, please. Pisces. Don't do it. Don't do it. Pisces. Pisces. Slow. See how slow that is? Very slow. Taking one sweet time, but it's going to happen. Overcoming fear. See? I will transcend every loss. That is the three of swords. So some sort of loss, significant loss that I was experienced in someone's past. Most likely someone that you're reflecting that same energy from. It has, has stunted someone's ability to go after life. And this is the realization that life is meant to be gone after. Okay? See you next week, Pisces. Hope this resonates. Thumbs me up. Do not forget to subscribe. Bye.